potatoes. Come over here and get a shot of that. It's a fast boil. A fast boil. That is done. So my stew. So I got to get me some pot holders on these little things. These these pots I got here found out in bone yard is they're hot. So I'm finna go put this in the strainer and then get my noodles on. I'll be back for my chicken and get them in the strainer and let them be cooling off where I can get my veggies on. Okay. There we go. Whew. Now, I'm not going to strain these. I'm going to keep this hot boiling water. I'm just going to take my taters out, put them over here in this bucket. Bucket. Well, that's what I call it. It's a bucket. Uh oh, drop one. I'll get these taters out. That way this water's good and hot. I'll go ahead and put my noodles in there. But they need to swell up pretty big. And the second go around or the second helping, or excuse me, the leftovers of this bone stew is even better than the first time because this done had time to soak up all the flavor, soak it up. All right, you can pause it. Okay. All right, I had to add just a little bit more water to it. Don't let that get a little warmer. I'm going to add some butter to it because of one of my noodles that keep them from sticking. I've never cooked in this pot before. Like I said, it's something I found out here in Bone Jar. So, butter keeps it, the, the noodles from sticking as much. Mm. Mm, good. A little butter in there. Let that good, good melt it down. And, Throw them macaronis in there, the noodles. I'm getting this chicken out, letting it cool down so I can get the meat separated from the bone. So, I'm trying to keep it official, kind of a outside cooking can opener. No electricity, all you need is a little can opener. Working around now. It comes into the this is the bone bone giver tool. Now there goes the phone again. Okay. At dead gum telemarketers on a Saturday? I got on that no call list. I don't think that does no good. Don't take long at all. I'll tell you what, Whew. that's kind of easy. So there you go. I'm gonna open up these cans. Look out! I don't need that extra pot. I'm gonna put all this and let that uh, slow boil in my chicken broth over there. So I don't need that extra extra pot. So two pots is all you need. There we go. Last one. It don't take long at all. Now I'm gonna get. Get the juices drained off the corn and the mixed vegetables and throw them in that pot. Some slow boil. Get these noodles in here. They should be ready. Follow me on over there. This is boiling. Sound like it was boiling. Nope. That's boiling. That's close enough. Got these noodles in here. I ain't using no bag, but they fill up pretty good. That yeah, look like about a half bag. Give them a little stir. Oh, that's plenty. Plenty. There you go. Ah, good deal. I got them strained. All right, I'm gonna pour the juices out. There goes the veggies. Here comes the corn, wheat corn, sweet corn. Oh, uh, what we got here? It's the tomato slices. Oh yeah. I'm gonna keep that juice in that. That gives it a hot flavor. Tomato paste. Tomato paste. Now this is a little slow process here. I like, oh wow, whoo, that's hot. I like to take my spoon and get it hot. 
and it's helping for dipping purposes. It comes off the spoon a lot easier. And I'm using a, oh, usually 12, I'm using 12 ounces, which is almost equivalent to three small, small cans. And it should be efficient enough to have that tomato flavor. Folks, it's going to be good. Uh oh, it's overflowing. Overflowing? Yeah. That ain't that oh, good. Cut it down. Oh, there you go. Alright, let me get that a stir and we'll Woo. get right back to you. Mighty warm, mighty warm. I, I, I just take it and shred it up with a fork or my fingers, but I do wash my hands. There ain't no doubt about that. And this is one I done done. Some folks say that's a lot of waste of meat, but I'll tell you what, pan up at me. That right there, I have, I feed my dogs. They love this, man. They, they just go crazy for it. And I got three of them little boogers. They're done. I've been to put these in the house. I'm going to transfer, transfer this back over to the, the big fire. Pause it. Gotta transfer the meat. Gotta de deboned. Try to get out of all the gristles too. Uh-oh. This pot may not be big enough. It's gonna be full. I guarantee you that because I gotta put I gotta put in the noodles in my taters. But uh you got it going it? Yeah, it's going. All right. I'll be right back. Alright, Mr. Bone Yard, what do you wanna say? Oh, you got it on that selfie stick, huh? Yep. All right, look here. While I cook, I like to wash at the same time. It, it, it cuts down on, on the time of having dirty dishes and all that. So that's me. I'm finna get it going. <sighs> yeah, the pot is full. Let me put this over here. I got my dishes and all my bowlers washed. This, it was, this right here is going to overrun it, but here's the last item, my noodles. You got to do it very slowly. Slowly, but surely. It's going to overfill it, but it's going to be great. Let me stop right there. I'm, no, no, don't hit stop. Mm. Are you, you still on? Yes. Folks, I've enjoyed it. I'm here, right here, and I got my film. My, he's doing the filming. His name is Blaster. He is my second cousin. Slash, slash yeah. grandson. Yeah, grandson. We ain't talking about no incest stuff, nothing. But he is my grandson, my first one. So y'all take him easy and take him care. As old 121 says, this is Bones. This that's bone jarred. Some folks call it a soup. I call it a stew. And by the way, you didn't you really didn't think that was the end of the video, did you? This is bones out here in bone jar. You know you got to have that taste sapling. I don't see too much steam coming off of it, but we're gonna give it a try. Hot. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Not bad at all. Sometimes I just outdo myself. I like to add a little black pepper to it, but sometimes butter. I like to eat this with cornbread. I like to eat it with crackers. But as of right now, I just like eating. All right, that's official. That's your official taste test of bones. Chicken stew.